Hey everybody, it's Vince from Spradley Kia here in Pueblo, Colorado, and today I'm going to review the SX Turbo 2022 Kia Sportage. Uh, it is my favorite car on the lot to sell. I really do enjoy selling the Sportages. They lease very well. They have rebates on them. They're, you know, typically all-wheel drive. This one is a front-wheel drive, but here in Colorado, all-wheel drive is always good. Um, they really are just my most popular vehicle to sell um, and I, I tend to sell a lot of them. Uh, if you are new to my channel, please uh, take a moment to like and subscribe. It really does help me out. I'm trying to, to hit 200 uh, subscribers, hopefully by the end of the month, which is the end of July. And uh, I got about three weeks, which I think I could do. I've been averaging enough to do so. So if you could just help me meet my short term goals, that would be great. And it would also help you uh, see, you know, future content. So going to jump kind of right into it again. This is the 2022 uh, Kia Sportage in the snow white pearl with the beige interior uh, right away coming to the front of the vehicle. You see Kia signature tiger nose grill. Even this, as even though this is a 2022, it still has Kia's old badge on the Sportage. Even though other 2022 uh, models have the newer badge, this one still has the older one. But you do get the LED headlights, you get the LED daytime running lights, and you get the fog lamps as well, which you can kind of see here. Profile. One thing I really do love about this trim level is the wheels i like the way the wheels look very much you have the 19 inch alloy wheels oh uh, i really do enjoy the uh, the look of those you can see the folded mirrors here that means that the car is locked so anytime you see the folded mirrors you know they are locked and when i approach i have the keys in my pocket they unfold i really do, do enjoy the button on the door handle feature Press that button once and then the car unlocks. Again, you have the beige interior. We're going to get into the interior uh, features in just a moment, but I'm just going to continue to show the outside of the car. This one again is a 2.0 turbocharged four cylinder. It's got the 19 inch wheels, uh, built in navigation, Harman Kardon uh, audio system. A peak there you have the push and pop gas tank so as long as the car is unlocked the gas tank all you have to do is press it and it'll open if the car is locked that will not open a lot of people forget that is a feature you'd be surprised how many people in the last couple of years I've had to help who think that their lock is broken when in reality it is uh, it is not it's just that the car is locked so here is the uh, the back profile of the vehicle. You have the dual exhaust. You have the little buttons. Well, they're not buttons, but you have the little sensors here in the bumper. You have the Kia badging again right there in the center. And then the SX Turbo GDI gas direct engine, gas direct inject uh, for the engine. You have your wiper and then your back glass. One thing uh, is you can always open this guy right here. There's a little nub. It's an SX uh, turbo, so it is the higher trim level. Uh, it's actually the highest trim level in a Sportage. Plenty of room back here. You have the child anchor locks in the backs of the seats. So if you have little ones, you can have the, uh, the child anchor locks there. This, you know, my model here comes with floor mats as a key accessory. And then underneath you have, ooh, look, the sunshade. That's kind of cool. You don't really see that. Um, usually it's installed, but there is the sunshade. So that sunshade is what you use to connect into that port right there. And then that port right there, you pull it back and it loops into here. Now, one thing a lot of people don't realize is that you don't have to just take it out and store it in your garage. It actually stores in the Sportage, and there it is. I've actually never seen one um, being sold that has it 
installed in the in the cubby and not installed in the uh, as you know to show which I'd rather it be installed to show but that's kind of cool you have the uh, the tire underneath there as well move that back down now another feature of this car is you could take this floor down and then see the little groove right there if you you can unslide it and then slide it down which I don't think this is gonna do properly because of that sunshade nope it's blocking it but if you can see the little trim there it will slide up and it will give you about a half an inch of a lift uh, for your for your rear cargo area and see I'm doing this one-handed and it's very easy um, so if you have something with wheels you know a cooler golf clubs baby strollers things like that it's kind of helps it not roll around as easily back there because you have that lip coming back around to the side profile kind of looks like how we started but you can kind of see the side profile there the sportage all right so let's take a look at some inside features because that's really where this model does shine uh, like i said it's one of my favorite vehicles to show because of things like the automatic tailgate you can press that button there and it'll close you have the button on the key fob uh, and it'll close super cool coming to the back here you have the beige interior again which is a very popular color I, I get a lot of requests for the beige interior uh, not just in uh, Sportage but we have the rust interior now for Sorrento and I get a lot of requests for the rust interior kind of do like an over the shoulder shot you can see the the big infotainment screen there in the center you have your climate in the center you have your physical buttons for the infotainment system if you don't like the touch screen and then you have your heated seats air conditioned seats all that stuff right there along with the wireless phone charger uh, for the front but again I'm sitting here in the back seat it's pretty roomy my knees don't touch the uh, the seat in front of me and I'm uh, what am I I'm 5'10 100 and 190 pounds and I fit just fine back here you have the mat pockets which are pretty cool they're the mesh so they're not as uh, they're not as hot and clammy as the uh, as the leather I like the mesh you have rear air back here so your people who are in the back can open and close their rear air and then you have the USB port and the 12 volt port back here as well uh, there are cup holders in pretty much every place you would expect them there are what two four six eight so there's eight cup holders in a car that seats five so you have them in the doors there's one right there you got one here in my door that's open and then you have your center cool down and you have your cup holders there as well I remember when my daughter um, left a drink there and we went to the airport and left our car uh, in our in my Kia Stinger and she had like a lemonade or something in it uh, I didn't realize that she left it and it melted and it got all of all of that covered in lemonade that was a uh, that was a fun ride home uh, there is the the seat belt to go across your your middle seat if you do have someone sitting here in the middle that seat belt retracts and then you can also uh, stow it in the little compartment that's up there as well really do enjoy the sportage a lot okay now let's go to the front the front is where all the excitement is so you have your Harman Kardon audio so you have your top-of-the-line audio you have your window controls you have your mirror controls you have your folding mirror controls your door locks uh, all that right there automatic seats so you have automatic seats there for you know going up and going down and back and forth and then the lumbar all right there coming into the car close the door here in real time you see the open and the closing so if I were to open that door again you'll see in that center screen it tells you in real time which doors are open 
as well as the hood and the panoramic sunroof. So to start this guy, you have your aluminum pedals down there. Put your foot on the brake, press the button on the side, and it starts. Every time you start the car, it's gonna show, um, I don't know if you saw it there real quick, it'll show system check. So if there's anything wrong with the engine, the gas, um, oil, that kind of stuff. So any kind of major engine components, it's gonna check. It's 100 degrees outside and it is what, six o'clock, it's 619 here in sunny southern Colorado. Crazy. Um, let's talk about the folding mirrors. So I park in a garage. Me and my wife you know, both park in the garage. You have your folding mirrors there. If I press that button, that mirror is going to fold up. So when I pull into my garage, I fold the mirrors up, pull in, unfold, and then when I lock the car, they fold again. So if you see those mirrors being folded, you know that your car is locked. Down here we have our illumination button, it's the button on the far left, that'll illuminate the center cluster and the infotainment screen uh, darker or lighter. You have your blind spot detector which is on, so if, I don't know if you can see in the mirror there you see the little etching of the two cars in the upper uh, left hand corner. If someone's in your blind spot it's going to highlight amber and if you're using your turn signal it's going to highlight amber and it's going to beep at you. So all the safety features in this car. You have a lane keep assist and then you can uh, raise the uh, the trunk and lower the trunk with the uh, button there. Coming to the center cluster again, you have you know your standard cluster, gas, uh, temperature, you have your speedometer there in the center. Now, some people can't find that speedometer because it's in the menu settings. So you have this little button here uh, which looks like two pages. If you press that, you can manipulate that screen going left to right. Now, the toggle switch right here, this toggle switch up and down, that manipulates going up and down. So you have your speedometer, you have my favorite screen. Let's see if I could get that right. My favorite screen is that one right there. It tells you how many miles till empty, your average fuel economy, how many miles have been driven on the car, I, I like that one but if you keep scrolling down you have your trip info and then again you have your uh, digital speedometer I get a lot of requests for the digital speedometer where is it even though the the actual speedometer is right there on the left hand side but again if you press this little button here with the two pages you can go left to right so you have your compass get a little focus there you get your compass you get your lane keep assist which I'm going to turn on because apparently it is off there we go. Lane keep assist is now active. You have your attention level, tire pressure, all that stuff. Uh, user settings, again, this, this car is insanely customizable. If you want this car to do something, you there's usually a setting in here that can make it happen. Let's say convenience, you know, you can change the how the mirrors light up. You can do turn the wireless phone charging on and off, all that kind of stuff. I see road warning, so if below 32 mile, 32 uh, degrees, it will uh, pop out the little icy road warning, you know, warning the roads may be icy, that, that happens, especially here in Colorado, I get that pop up a lot. Super easy. Now the center cluster, so here's your center cluster, right away you have um, the maps, the sky has built in navigation. So it's touch screen, so if you press it, it'll load, it'll go into the full screen. This guy still has the protective little film on it because it hasn't been sold, uh, so that's what that little glare is. But you have, you know, you can just go in, go out, all menus will take you to all menus. You have your navigation, Bluetooth, uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, you have your physical climate, so you can see in a, in a bigger screen what your climate looks like. Little house always takes you back. Little arrow takes you back, just one menu screen. You have your radio, sounds of nature, uh, UVO. UVO is key as app, so if you do UVO, you have your roadside assistance there, vehicle diagnostic. You can pair uh, your the app with the vehicle diagnostic, so it'll tell you, you know, when your next oil change should be, that kind of stuff. UVO settings. One setting I always like to make sure is turned on for my customers is 911 connect. 
So when 911 Connect is activated, um, and if you're in an accident and your phone is connected to the car, it will call 911 for you. So uh, that's that's pretty cool. Um, it's not 100% technology, obviously. So if the computer is is uh, damaged, uh, it may not call it. But you know, as long as your phone's connected one way or another, Bluetooth, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. Um, and that feature is on, it should contact 911 for you. Again, little arrow takes you back. Sounds of nature. So here's a warm fireplace. It's, you know, just relaxing sounds. I don't really know who it's for. Open Air Cafe, if you guys have seen any of my other videos, you know I don't know who Open Air Cafe is for. Um, I don't know who drives around pretending they're in a restaurant. Just. I don't get it. You can hear. I don't get who that's for at all. Rainy day. Okay, I understand. A rainy day, you want to relax, but I don't get open air cafe. Let me go ahead and turn the volume back down. A little house takes me home. Center cluster. So if you don't like the physical touch screen up here, then you have the physical buttons down here. So if you want to go straight to the radio, you can. I'm not going to play the radio because I don't want the content on YouTube to be blocked because of, of uh, content restrictions and all that, owning the rights and such. So uh, I actually sold a car today, sold a Sportage today actually, where the guy had his little USB stick and you want to make sure all his media played. So you have your media there, if you had a USB stick with songs on it, that's where that would go. Your tracks so you can skip songs, then again you have your map, your navigation, your setup lower speed down um, you have your climate controls there in the center so you have dual climate so your driver and your passenger can be at two different uh, temperatures you have your blower speed fans little is obviously less big is more your directionals where you want your feet to where you want the air to blow feet defrosters uh, face that kind of thing if you take a look here when I press that see you'll see the toolbar at the very top it'll change so there you can see feet defroster uh, you know face and then you see the sinks you can see the uh, the temperature see how now I'm at 82 degrees where passengers on low if I want to sync that I just press the sync button right there sync button and then it'll sync the climate so now both of us are at 82 if I just manipulate the driver's knob you can go all the way down to low Kind of my favorite buttons right here, heated seats, air conditioned seats, heated steering wheel, the wireless phone charger is down there, USB port uh, right there in the center for your Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. You have your charging port uh, right there as well uh, for your 12 volt and then you have an extra USB charging port right there. Actually two of them are in there. Kind of coming here to the cluster, you have again cup holders, again there's what two four six eight cup holders for a vehicle that seats five this button here is your forward parking sensors when it's highlighted amber that means it's on auto hold is kind of cool I actually use auto hold a lot let me just kind of demonstrate it here so I'm gonna throw myself in drive just roll forward a bit and I'm gonna stop so let's say I'm at a drive-through or if I'm picking up my kid from practice um, and I want to take my feet off the pedals what you do is you put your foot down on the brake and then you press auto hold let's watch it right here you'll see it appear in green in the center and then I can take my feet off the pedals so you know if you're at a long drive through line if you just need to be in a place where you're kind of parked and you need uh, you know you're just waiting that is something I use a lot actually so and then to just get out of auto hold all you do I do is put your foot on the pedal to the accelerator and away you go I like auto hold a lot. It's quietly one of my one of my favorite features. I'm actually gonna throw myself an auto hold again. So um, good point. So when you are already in auto hold, all you have to do is put your foot down on the brake. Um, so if I've already done it once since the vehicle's been turned on, I can just put my foot down on the brake, and then the auto hold will engage. I don't have to, I don't have to hit the button every single time. You have your downward hill assist there, your drive modes, and then your electronic parking. So your drive modes, take a look here. I'm going to press drive mode. I have eco, sport, and normal. I like eco the best. It's you know always the best for um, gas and that kind of thing. So 
you want the guest gas mileage, Eco is the way to go. Center cubby, you got a big center cubby in there, and then you got your armrest there. Now, one of the coolest things about this vehicle that always stands out is the panoramic sunroof. That sunroof goes all the way to the back. The glass will open as well. And you got kind of the sun there, but you have that big panoramic sunroof all the way to the back, always a crowd pleaser. I'm gonna go ahead and bring the glass back. And there's the partition. Depending upon how you touch this button up here, it'll do different things. So if you lightly touch it, it's going to open just the sunshade. If you touch it, uh, if you just press up like right here at an angle, it's going to raise the glass for air. Um, it's just, it does, has multiple features, multiple levels of settings. Sunglass holder. Ironically, not a lot of Kias come with sunglass holders anymore. I've noticed that. It's, uh, it's a design that they're getting rid of. I don't know why. I think because a lot of them have this tray right here and this tray only. I don't know if that's supposed to be for sunglasses. Um, you see, you see that in Celtos. Uh, it's it's interesting what what that is. I mean, a lot of them are going. I, the new K5s, I don't think even have those either. Um, home link. So you have your mirror up here. So this is a home link mirror, which means you have your garage door openers right there. Um, you have your UVO button, roadside assistance, your compass. So we're going southeast there. Uh, pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and just park this guy back on the lot. So I'm already in auto hold. I'm just going to press the accelerator lightly. And away I go. Seatbelt's going to beep at you for, what, two or three minutes? Um, oop. Actually, it's because the car's been running a lot longer. Trust me, if I just turned the car on, I didn't have my seatbelt on, that thing's going to beep for a while. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put this guy back on the lot. We don't really have a lot of inventory. I think I say that every time I, I do a video, but we have one Kia Soul, one Seltos that's sold. We have a bunch of Neros and a bunch of Sportages. We have two Sorrentos we just got yesterday and honestly we had four and we sold two today um good lord i mean we we're, we're selling inventory as we're getting them and it's not it's not a bad time to be in the car business at least not for kia i mean i'm making i'm making good money um but it's just the inventory man it's it's uh you just gotta keep up with it to turn it off you just press that button there and it turns off coming back out a little bit more noisy here because we're right by the freeway but on this vehicle you have the key fob here lock unlock automatic lift gate and panic so if you like what you see um, definitely like and subscribe but thanks for watching and taking a look at the 2022 SX Kia Sportage and this one's a front-wheel drive uh, thanks guys, and I'll see you down at the dealership. And again, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks everybody.